We're at AUSA 2017 and I'm speaking with Dave Gustafson, Program Manager, Navistar Defence. We're standing beside an example of Navistar's commercial product lineup, uh, which to some may be quite an unusual sight at a defence exhibition. Dave, could you talk us through the vehicle and why it's here, please? Certainly, Sean. Uh, this vehicle starts off as a Paystar 5900 series 6x4 that comes off our production line every day. Uh, this has been modified, to a, tailored to a specific customer requirement uh, to be a heavy equipment tank transporter. And as far as I understand the Paystar lineup, the, the, the basic truck, even, even the heaviest of the Paystars, would not be able to meet the requirements of a, of a tank transporter. So one would assume you have modified this in, in some way. C could you talk us through the modifications? This is the heaviest uh, rated vehicle that Navistar has ever built. It's 242,000 pound gross combined weight rating. Uh, which is something beyond um, anything in the Paystar inventory today. So what we've done is we've upgraded the engine to 600 horsepower and 1,800 pound-feet of, of torque. We've added an auxiliary transmission to handle the loads in the drive line, and we've also upgraded the rear axle and suspension. Uh, and when you say you have upgraded the engine, is, is that a Cummins or a Navistar unit? That is a Cummins 15-liter ISX. And, and the drive axles at the rear, are they um, Meritor? Yes, they are um, Meritor 84,000 pound tandem axles. I understand the normal Paystar would have uh, an Allison automatic transmission in it. You mentioned you'd revised the transmission in this truck. W what have you put in and why? This truck has a, a stringent uh, gradeability requirement of 18%. It needs to be able to start at full capacity and go up an 18% grade, stop and then start again. For that reason, we replaced a standard 10-speed automatic with an 18-speed Eaton auto shift manual. Now I understand the customer for this vehicle is Israel. Uh, could you give us a few details on, on the requirement? Yes, this is intended to be their heavy equipment uh, uh, tank transporter. Uh, we are in, currently in the process of delivering and fielding 92 units for them. And, and some of the, the current Israeli tank transporter fleet, which is also white and commercially based, some of them do have an armoured cab solution. Does this particular truck have an armoured solution? Uh, currently, the customer has not requested an armoured cab for this vehicle. However, using our family of armoured cab designs, we are able to accommodate an armoured cab on this platform. Uh, and, and I know this truck has an external tyre inflation system. Is this something you've put on for the show or is that a, a requirement of the customer? Again, this was a customer specified piece of equipment to maintain safe uh, tyre pressure under all conditions.